Can you please tell us your name and where you're from? My name is Irina, and I'm from Tri-Cities. And Irina, can you please tell us the testimony and what happened to you? Um, so I got my license at the age of 15 and a half, 16. Um, and I was, a, I was a good driver. I, I, I see that look. <laughs> I know, we all like to think that we are good drivers, but I was good. Um, <laughs> I was really... <laughs> It, two years passed, and I got my first ticket. I didn't think much of it. I was like, oh, okay, whatever, first ticket. Everyone has their first. And then I got into my first car accident, and I was like, okay, well, I mean, everybody's got to have a car accident on their record. So I got that. And then time, time passed, and I just kept on acquiring this, these things. And in the past maybe five months is when it really escalated. I mean, I got a, I got a ticket, and then... Uh, a month later, I got another ticket by the same cops, same place, same reason. I was like, wow, what a coincidence. This is great. And then a couple of weeks passed, and I got a parking ticket. I didn't, know, I didn't even know they gave those out, but I got one, and I was parked too far away from the curb. And, I mean, it was ridiculous. I'm, I drive with a ruler now. <laughs> and so <laughs> a little while, um, maybe, maybe a month passed. And I get into a car accident. I was not speeding. I wasn't on my phone. I mean, it was just so weird. And I was just getting so frustrated. And when I got into that car accident, I was just like, I just don't have enough money to pay for all of this. I mean, it really, like, I was so discouraged with myself. I was just beating myself up about it. And I texted Mariana, actually. And I told her, I was like, you know, I just got into a car accident. But just don't tell Ilya. <laughs> I, was like, I, knew, I knew he was going to give me an earful and say, hey, you know, you got to be careful and this and that. But it was after that car accident that I was just like, I can't do this anymore. I don't have money to just give out. Like money came and I was just like, my check, my check came and my check went. My check came, my check went. And um, I was just, I was really like upset. I was like, I don't know what's going on. And that Sunday came around and Ilya actually did a word of offering and he was talking about the same thing that, um, Andre just talked about that there is a devourer in your life. And he talked, he shared a testimony where he had the same exact thing where he would get into, get into a car and everywhere he would go, there would be, it was just bad timing or something. And um, there would be just a cop right around the corner waiting for him. And he would get a ticket here, a ticket there, a ticket there. And his money came and went, came and went. And I connected it so, I was just like, that is me. I was like, I have a devourer in my life. And offering came around, and um, I put money aside, and I was like, you know what, God? I'm going to take this. I was like, I'm going to sacrifice it to you. And I was like, this door that was open in my life, I'm going to shut it. I was like, there is not going to be a devourer in my life. Money is going to come, and it's going to stay, and it's not going to just go. And after I, I, I set that money aside, and I, I especially dedicated it to that area of my life, because I know that I'm going to give, and God is going to bless it. And... Um, uh, I got a promotion in one of my jobs. I actually got a raise. And in my other job, I got a bonus. I mean, I just saw blessings coming. And I went to court for one of my parking tickets. And um, so it happened that the judge's computer just didn't, didn't work. And he was like, okay, well, today we're going to judge as if everybody's records are clean. And we are going, I'm going to give you guys the full, um, what is it, fullest reduction. I was like, oh, this is God. I was like, I need this. My parking ticket went from $120 to paying $30. I was like, okay, this is God. And I knew, like, I knew that once, once I made that sacrifice and I saw these blessings, I was like, you know, God is faithful. God is faithful in what he says. And just blessings kept on coming and coming. Amen, amen. So, so let, me, let me rewind real quick. So you're telling us that the, how you received your breakthrough was you did a financial sacrifice and you applied what uh, Ilya was uh, sharing, which was his to testimony. Is that correct? That is correct, yeah. Okay, that's awesome, you guys. Um, and last but not least, can you please tell us, what would you advise everyone here tonight if they're maybe facing the same thing or maybe looking for a breakthrough? What I would say is, do not give too much credit to coincidence because Satan, he likes to hide behind that because then we take it upon ourselves. And once you, once you say, oh, it's a coincidence, you believe it. And once you believe it, Satan has accomplished his goal. Yeah. That's it. And what I would say is 
these testimonies that are told here, they are not just told to, hey, God is good to me. God is good to all of us. And I want you, I want you guys to apply these testimonies to your life. I want you to test God like David said. Test him in that area of your life. Take that sacrifice and put it aside and be like, God, I want, you, I want, I want to see you touch that area right there. And so now every time I make a sacrifice, I make sure I do that. I was like, you know what, God, this is going to be put aside for this because I want you to bless that right there. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Irina.